Senators sat through two hours of testimony regarding a bill that would ban transgender student athletes. Some who argued in favor of the bill say there is a biological unfairness of girls competing against transgender students who identify as female. The committee heard from representatives, women and local organizations. What would be the purpose to wait until a female student loses her opportunity to participate in an all-girls girls sports team? or loses the opportunity to receive a scholarship because a biological male who claims transgender status as a woman receives her spot. So for consistency throughout the state, it needs to be the legislature that defines this policy. Let's be clear, House Bill 1298 does not prohibit any student from participating in sports. Some also spoke in opposition discussing the long-term damage a ban on transgender student athletes would have not only on students themselves, but the community as a whole, and that there is currently not one transgender athlete on record in the state. But saying that trans girls, even after hormone therapy, are automatically going to win any event in any sport because they were assigned male at birth, portrays cis girls as inherently weak and feeble, and it portrays trans girls as inherently predatory. It helps them to build positive social connections, gain leadership skills, and succeed in school as a whole and to the best of my knowledge was written without any input from the transgender community or any consideration of its impact on the emotional and mental health of transgender youth. House Bill 1298 has already passed the House. The Senate Judiciary Committee took no action on the bill yesterday.